Hello YouTube family. This is Rev from my Rev It Up Mustang Fanatic Productions. And you know what time it is. Rev it up. Mustang lovers, Mustang lovers in general. Uh, today is February 4th, 2019, year of our Lord. And we're here out on my screened in porch, and I have my fuel tank here. And there's the new 300 liter per hour fuel pump that I installed. And here, where you see the tape, is where the grommet goes. So I've ordered a new grommet and a new filler neck, which should be here today. This is the gasket that keeps fuel from spilling out when you're making the right hand turn or simply when it's just sitting in your driveway or in your garage. That seals the fuel inside. So our filler pump should be here within the hour um, it's out for delivery already, coming from Myrtle Beach to Conway. So what I'm going to do is just use these little uh, brushes to just gently swipe off some of the dirt, do a little bit of general cleaning uh, before I get ready to install. And uh, the sun is shining today in Conway, South Carolina. So I get this installed. We'll go give her some fresh... 93 octane and we'll start her up and take her out for a good ride and see how she does and prayerfully this will solve our uh, fuel pressure gauge inside to uh, be running correctly at 35 pounds at idle and 55 to 60 uh, at um, medium to a full throttle so we'll update you when we get that and when we install the tank god bless this is red once again red from my Revit Up Productions. Okay, this is Rev here from my Revit It Up blog. Today is February 4th, uh, year 2019 of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We thank him for another day. Our part have came in, which we've been waiting on since last Thursday. I ordered it. And he said it would be here Monday. Well, the time has arrived, and here is what we needed. This is the grommet, the fuel tank grommet that we need to put in the side of the fuel tank where the filler neck goes. Okay, so we have that part. Then we have the filler neck. This is a brand new filler neck that we have. And um, we ordered this through Late Model Restoration. We want to give a shout out to them for having it promptly delivered. And I'll be right. So here we are. Here's the filler neck grommet. And uh, that's what the grommet slides into. And then this bolt inside of the trunk behind the carpet access so those are the two parts that we've been waiting on so since um fuel which is 93 octane is very volatile uh catch fire pretty easily um we're not going to film any of this because we're dealing with gasoline it's going to be vapors i'm going to lift my garage door up just a little bit to let some air out and air in so I don't be overcome by fumes and I've got my generator over there in the corner shut off so we don't want anything to give this thing uh, any sparks 
So when we get this thing on and uh, up and running, we'll come back and we'll let you uh, know the prognosis. Alrighty, God bless. From my Rev It Up Productions here in Conway, South Carolina. And today is January 5th, Tuesday. 2019 year of our Lord. We thank God for another day. And as you can see, uh, we have the gas tank back inside the Mustang. And uh, we primed her up last night, but we didn't start her because she's kind of loud. I didn't get finished until about nine o'clock last night. I tell you, it's a job putting that fuel filler neck and that grommet in, getting that gas tank in. <laughs> Glad I don't have to do that for a while. But we uh, hooked all the lines up, hooked the straps back up, and um, we changed the fuel filter and got the lines on. And we turned it on and we do hear the pump it's clicking and we hear the whine noise so we know the pump is working i did that several times to prime the system so the system is primed so what i'm going to do now is uh crank it while it's in the air and uh test the fuel system while the engine is running to make sure that there's no fuel leaks or anything i don't smell any fuel which is a good sign and it's been like this all night so with the system prime so we're going to start her up but one thing my fuel pump is still my fuel pressure gauge is still fooling around five psi's of pressure and i changed the uh fuel pressure sending unit on it when i had the old fuel pressure gauge on there i thought it was the sending unit so the sending unit is new but it was working fine when i installed it so it may be just a wiring issue so I may take the column back down and recheck the wires, recheck the ground, recheck the, um, the uh, positive wire um, to it that gets the 12 volts, 13 volts to it. Check the connection to that. It may not be getting all the volts it, it needs. So we'll, we'll do that at another date. But meanwhile, we'll uh, get this thing running, let it run for a while check for leaks and then uh we'll take it to the gas station and, and we'll fill her up and make sure nothing leaks out of that grommet i'm sure that grommet is sealed well so uh we'll give you an update after that all right god bless And as always, we thank you for watching our videos. We hope you like the videos that we're presenting to you. We try to bring you cutting edge technology and bring you the best of Mustangs, old cars, and motorcycles. But mostly Mustangs, because we're Mustang fanatics. So if you like the channel, hit the like button and then subscribe. God bless. Have a wonderful day. This is Rev with Rev It Up Mustang Productions. God bless.